continuing my clear out special where I find various items I don't no longer need. Here is an easy air air pump, which is actually a piece of medical kit. Uh, you might be wondering why is an air pump a piece of medical kit? And that's because it's used for inflating an air mattress, or indeed air mattresses. Actually, I wonder what is the correct uh, plural term for an air mattress? Air matrices? Uh, linguistical conundrums aside, a friend gave me this uh, because he had lost the adapter for this proprietary connector here and I don't have it either, so I don't have any actual use for it. But uh, it does actually work if you turn it on. It makes this sort of 50 hertz humming noise. Uh, and I'm thinking that uh, there's something simple inside that's using the uh, 50 hertz directly from the uh, how do you call it, the mains uh, to create a uh, motion of something inside. I'm not entirely sure. Let's have to open it up. I'm doing six screws and opening it up reveals that. Well. So the power goes in there, goes through this uh, switch on the front panel, through a rat's nest of wires, to uh, this, which is apparently the actual pump, as it got some sort of uh, damping uh, to make it less wibbly wobbly. And then it goes through this piece, which I'm not entirely sure what it's all about, but it's on a motor, so I'll have to take a look at that. And there's uh, some other part over here, uh, which has the main air pipe going into it. Uh, perhaps it's a pressure sensor? No idea. Well, you know what to say uh, when in doubt, pull it out. However, even when disassembled, this doesn't really make uh, much sense, mostly because of how m many wires there are. Interestingly, they're all connected by these uh, twist caps. And actually, I'm not sure that untwisting them is a good idea. Tell you what, I'm going to pause momentarily and draw out a schematic of it. Alright, so here's the deal. Uh, the live connections of which are, if I can find them, yes, there they are. They are going through a dual switch on the front, which apparently is switching both the live and the neutral. Then they both go through a fuse, and then there are three distinct sections. Uh, the first one is the pump, uh, which is this big thing over here. Uh, it has an input connection, uh, which is uh, just a hole, it's not connected anywhere, and an output connection. And the output connection is then going through this split pipe uh, to the pressure sensor. Uh, the pressure sensor is interesting in that it has only a live connection, but no neutral connection. The neutral is done through these connections to a couple of LEDs on the front panel over there, which are indeed normal pressure and low pressure. That's why I know it's a pressure sensor. Uh, and from there, they're just connected to neutral. Uh, so presumably there's also some sort of resistor in there. And perhaps a capacitor? Or is that wishful thinking? Anyway, uh, then uh, the pipe goes through uh, to here, which is sitting on uh, an AC motor, which is interesting in that it only has a 1.6 RPM, so it's rotating very slowly, um, and it's connected to this mechanical contra contraption on top, uh, which has uh, uh, one pipe from the pump and the other pipe going uh, to what I think is some sort of sink over here, uh, which is this thing here. 
uh, it's a um, pressure regulator then you turn it away and it either lets out more air or less air and then it's just uh, switching between uh, this pipe and that pipe and that's presumably uh, so that um, several sections of the mattress get inflated more evenly maybe no idea but uh, I'm interested to understand what this part that's rolling on the super slow motor is all about and the answer is I have no freaking clue because as you can see there are some sort of um, plastic pipes going into here and plastic pipes going out of there on a further distance than here and this top piece has some sort of uh, uh, molded shape and it clips onto here using this rod perhaps I should just assemble it back yeah I'll just do that uh, this uh, piece pushes onto this um, then this rotates on top of that uh, and the whole thing is held together by this small piece over here which don't really want to fit in the hole this might take several years yeah there we are uh, and so the whole contraption is rotated like that it isn't actually wanting to rotate very much and I don't really want to plug this in because well as you see it's very very exposed inside and no grounding I just thought I'd mention that because like every piece that has this metal uh, construction has a symbol on it like perhaps you could see yeah there's the ground symbol but it should be grounded but it can't be because it has only got two connections naughty so all this leaves is the pump uh, which is held together by four screws I'm just taking out the last one now and these screws are actually quite long as compared to uh, the other ones like here's the longest one I could find uh, in the rest and here's this one it's nearly double and those four screws reveal um, this so what you have here there's a transformer coil with uh, half of a transformer core and the uh, other section is um, two magnets on these uh, sort of uh, metal strips uh, they're actually I think they're welded in that's unusual uh, Anyway, uh, the magnets uh, on the metal strips, which are then uh, connected to this part, which I don't think there's any use in trying to pull out, but this part has these rubber plugs, which uh, apparently vibrate like that, uh, creating the difference in air pressure, uh, which comes out of these two holes. And just to prove that I'm not talking total crap, I've just plug this thing in and now I'm just going to turn it on contact yeah that's pretty loud uh, I was actually quite surprised by that because like uh, it seemed quite quiet from the outside but apparently it's all concealed by this um, uh, wibbly wobbly stuff uh, to prevent vibration which is actually a good thing because like it's used for an air mattress uh, therefore it's quite near a, a bed where somebody would be sleeping so hearing the sound of well uh, this contraption working would not be a very good experience I would presume and now comes the part where I get to decide what to keep and what to throw away I'm thinking I'm going to keep all of the electronic part I am going to also keep this uh, part which was quite destructively 
separate it from the switch which I'm also going to keep I'm going to uh, bring all of the uh, plastic parts uh, which are these because like I don't really need uh, them for this to work and I'm also thinking of keeping the tubing but separately from the electronics so that uh, it um, is easier to uh, like store uh, in some sort of uh, place because as it is right now it's occupying more space than it was when it was assembled so I'm just going to show the schematic I drew uh, for this once again uh, if anybody wants to uh, take a look at it closer so yeah that's what is mm, inside an easy air, air pump uh, for medical uses in air mattresses.